This is a video for one of our users, Cheaton, who asks whether it's possible to build scientific apps using Mobile Nation. Uh, in particular, uh, Cheaton wants to build an app that solves a differential equation, and he asks how he would be able to put code into an app. So I'm going to show you uh, very quickly how to add your own logic into an app. So what I'm going to do is just add, uh, is to make an app that uh, adds two numbers together. So I'll just put in a text field here, and this can be my first number. And I'll put in another text field, and that can be my second number. And I'm going to put in a label to represent the results. I'm just going to change the text to result is. Put in a button uh, that says calculate. And I'm going to name this text field here uh, X and this one here Y. Okay, so when I hit calculate, I want to add together what I've entered into X to what I've entered into Y. So go to my actions for my button. <clears throat> and basically, I want to show uh, what the result of X and Y is in this label here. So I'm going to go along when I touch down, I'm going to set the label text. I'm going to go and fire up our advanced editor. Now, our advanced editor allows for code input uh, in the form of JavaScript. Uh, so I'm just going to switch this to source mode. And I'm going to go put in some of my own code. So I'm going to clear it from result is to make it uh, uh, put some JavaScript between these two braces. <coughs> now, get our variable sorted out and say var x equals. Now I can bring in that text field text, so just drag that in. Now, <clears throat> obviously uh, text is a string, so I'm going to parse that into a float value so that I can actually do some addition on it. So parse float. And I'll do likewise with my y value. Let's get our result. So var result equals x plus y. And now I'm going to escape that and I'm going to say the result is. Now I can put individual variable values just like going like this. So I can say result. As simple as that. <clears throat> Let's have a look at what that does. Now, let's just add 3 plus 2, shall we? And 2. And we can see the result is 5. There you go, cheating.